I'm Steve from Natural World Science Magazine. Today we are going to have a student come and learn about natural selection. I am Kevin, a student from Mid-Ohio School. This week in school we are starting to learn about natural selection. I am very confused on how it works. Okay, I'm ju I was just about to write an article about natural selection. Would you like to come along and see what you can learn? Yes, I would like to do that. One question. Can I ask questions? Of course you can. Okay, we just arrived at Star Labs Natural Selection Industry. Here we have Dr. Allen. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, and I'm really excited to see that you have come here today. Well, thank you for letting us come here today to Star Labs Natural Selection Industry. Oh, you are so welcome. I am writing an article about natural selection, and I was wondering if you could explain it to me. And answer some questions I might have. I would be glad to explain it to you and answer any questions you may have if I can. I would love to. The blue long-tongued lizards had to adapt to its environment because humans started to plant maple trees to get maple syrup when the maple trees got taller than the melon trees. A melon tree is a tree that has watermelons growing on it. The melon trees then had to grow taller in order to reach the sun so they did not die. When the melon tree grew taller, the blue long-tongued lizards needed to eat the melons off the trees. The lizards with longer tongues were able to get the fruit from the tree. The lizards with shorter tongues were not able to get the, the fruit, so they died. Therefore, the blue long-tongued lizards that had long tongues were able to reproduce. So over time, the blue long-tongued lizards got longer tongues. Now, do you have any questions? Have the lizards always had blue tongues? Yes, they have always had the blue tongues that we know of. So can I write down what you said so that I can write my article? How come the lizards don't climb the trees? Yes, you can write it down, and they are not able to climb the trees because they don't have claws or sticky finger pads. One more question. How long are the lizards' tongues? Well, in 1922, the tongues were 3 inches, and now in 1944, they are about 9 inches long. Thank you so much for letting us come to Star Lab's natural selection industry. Yes, thank you for letting us come. I now understand how natural selection works. I am glad I was able to help you understand what natural selection is.